the large veins in a leaf are not only for the movement of fluids, they are structural as well, helping to stiffen and spread the leaf flat to expose the surface to the sun. The process of evolution responsible for the forms of branches, leaves, and wood has also helped to determine the designs of seeds. Maple and ailanthus seeds, which are spread by the wind, have propeller-like blades. Sharp spikes keep animals out of these horse chestnuts before they ripen. And even though they're also toxic, squirrels will still collect and bury them, as they do with acorns and berries. Fruit and seeds are produced when flowers are pollinated. Flowers are the reproductive organs of plants. The individual florets in this sunflower open up. When insects come to gather the pollen, they fertilize the florets with pollen from another flower. Every fertilized floret becomes a seed containing an embryonic plant. The forms that seeds take are related to various strategies for distribution. One ailanthus tree produces thousands of seeds a year. Each seed is a helix, an aerodynamic form twisted like a propeller that keeps it airborne for wide dispersal by the wind. Late in the summer, the lotus lilies in this pond produce their extravagant blossoms. After pollination by insects, each one grows a cone-shaped pod with young seeds in the middle. When the seeds ripen, they become loose in the pod. Eventually, it falls into the water and floats. It drifts upside down, and as it softens, the seeds fall out one by one. Like the seeds in the individual pods themselves, the cones pack against the shores of the pond by the thousands. As they are blown back and forth, they drop seeds all over the bottom where they will wait until next year, or sometimes for many years, before taking root. As the pot of the milkweed dries, it shrinks. The case splits and reveals a tight package of seeds inside. Each one is a tiny explosion pattern that makes a parachute so it will travel farther with the wind. The dispersal of some seeds depends on the warmth of spring. The seeds of the dogbane bush absorb moisture and heat and the contents expand, splitting the seed case. Many plants distribute their seeds as widely as possible. This way, a plant won't have to compete with its own offspring. Each of these seeds has its own parachute, and the wind does the rest. Living things are layers of patterns. A dandelion's seeds make an explosion pattern. The seeds were attached to an egg-like stub. 